I haven't played a Blitz game in 10 days. Let's, uh, let's fire one up and see what happens. All right, guys. This might be the game to bring us into 1600. Opponent is 1700. I haven't played in a few days, so I'm definitely going to be a little rusty. So this is Roy Lopez opening uh, very standard uh, standard move so far. Okay, let's go here. Oftentimes we might reroute this knight over this way. Let's now this is an important move in my opinion in, in this position. Otherwise they get this super annoying uh, forever pin with the bishop where they go here. Yeah, if they want to trade, uh, that's fine. Also, uh, h3 allows us to better secure this bishop so they can't like go knight in as well. I think taking bo with both of these is viable, actually. I've looked at that um, before. I used to play c takes. Um, I think they're both fine. Okay, yeah, let's do the reroute plan. Uh, eventually, we might try to play f4 as well and then attack on the king side. So they might be trying to play a five. Okay, we just continue with the plan. Uh, actually, well, I probably should have played this knight move immediately. Ooh, and then they might be able to sack and open, or not sack, but trade and open up my king. Hmm, well, I kind of have to take because I can't let them push and shut down my bishop um, completely. So, um, hmm. Uh, this probably isn't right, but I'm going to go here. I don't want them to take, and I want to keep my pawn structure intact as much as possible. They do have a good position here, though. So next plan, probably knight g3, and at some moment we can play f5, f4. f It's a little hard for them to develop their queen here. Um, they, I would maybe like do something like this, and then you can bring the other rook over. Yeah, see, so they're gonna bring queen, queen here. That's also good for them. <laughs> Less good for me. Now, actually, though, this might be a bit problematic because after I go f four, excuse me, after I go f four, uh, my knight will be hanging. Ooh, let's maybe do this though. Let's kind of just plug plug up the bishop a little bit. Right. They can win a pawn here if I do nothing. So uh, I don't like doing this, but okay, let's let's go f3 to better support this. I need to or I want to also go king h1 to get off of this because for example, right now, if they had a bishop, they could take here or a different piece. Um, sort of similar on this, but I have multiple defenders uh, for the moment. Could also just clog everything up. Let's let's start with this. This feels safe. I think we just come back. <clears throat> Which way do we want to take? Oh, we want to open our F file, I think. And now we can also defend our pawn laterally in the future, which will be helpful. Um, ooh, I need to be careful of x-rays here, though. So I could go. OK, well, let's, I need to stay good on the clock here. So let's take here. This I don't know if this is better, if pawn takes was better. Oh, I guess this just wins a pawn for them. Huh. 
Okay. Well, yeah, I have to take. Um, although this will be hanging, so I guess it doesn't quite just want a pawn. Uh, okay, yeah, but now it does because they I could go here. Uh, I want to keep my. There are some lines too. I could I could have almost done this to pin. Um, ooh, this is super juicy. I gotta watch out for this fork. Oof. Do I go here? Oh, maybe let's do this. Oh, they can sack. Yeah, they can sack. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well, uh this is not gonna be our victory. But, uh, okay, let's go here. Let's do the best we can. I only have 30 seconds left, though. Uh, pretty hopeless. But we tried. Oh, they could have also forked me still there. Um, let's go here. They should probably play here, actually, though. Uh, oh, yeah, that still works. <laughs> I guess I should have moved the rook last move, last turn. Uh, and my king comes to open file. I mean, they take. It's you know, it's game over here. <laughs> but we'll play. We'll play on for a miracle. But uh, you know, I maybe get some checks in here. I don't know. The knight is kind of ready to maybe jump in at some moment, but it's uh, not looking super great. Uh, and by that, I mean it is objectively a lost position, but um, we'll keep doing stuff. Maybe like check, I come up and then they pin me this way. Uh, that's, ooh, I can't even go that way. I get mated. Oh, well, I kind of have to. Oh, wait, no, I should, uh, this was oh, I couldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, then they go here, I block, and then it's mate. Uh, actually, they can go, they can also do this. It's just, uh, mate in two. I'll let them, uh, play it on the board, but, uh, okay. Well, if you guys enjoyed that, drop a like on the video, uh, I know it's more fun to uh, get the wins, but you know, sometimes you got to take the losses on the chin. So let's let's do a little analysis and uh, see what happened this game. So yeah, this is the this move is Roy Lopez. If you aren't familiar, um, they attack your bishop. You kind of keep it on the pawn, on the knight. And here, I think you can go knight out or pawn here. I'm not sure uh, if the move order matters. I mix it up. And yeah, this is normal developing stuff. Now here, maybe I should have first moved the queen up. Um, let's see, computer says bishop g5. Uh, feels a little inefficient to move that twice. Uh, or bishop d2, oh, I guess, maybe there's some tactics or something. Um, oh, they also even say knight h2, interesting. Yeah, knight h2, I think with, you know, I've mentioned this in some prior episodes that uh, f4, to like trade it off and get the rook going is, is a very strong plan in general in the king pawn openings. Um, yeah, so here here's where it started to feel like things were getting off the rails a little bit because after I take, first of all, I think they, I mean, they could have in between move, like if they take now, have to recapture, my, my pawns are just destroyed. Uh, my king safety is a, a problem for the rest of the game. I probably would have played that if I were white, if I were black. Um, but I mean, the, keeping the, this a very strong piece now, the open diagonal. So uh, preserving that also makes sense. But so, so let's back up. So where, yeah, in this position, I mean, they're also saying like Ricky one, Bishop D two. I don't really understand that move, <laughs> but. Um, 
Yeah, not super clear. I might just have to do some more opening. I think this will take a longer analysis for me to sort this out of exactly what went on there. But um, yeah, after this move, the, the problem is I can't. I really don't want to let them push. Uh, oh, well, actually, maybe this is why queen d2 is in, inaccurate because um, allowing them this push where like I'm trapped. I mean, they're, they're threatening to trap the bishop, right? If I let them, if I just do a move, then they go here. Um, so, and yeah, let's see. Computer says uh, bishop takes is the best move. Um, rook takes is also good. What do they want here? Yeah, knight g3 is the best move. All right, guys, we, we did okay. We're doing all right. All right, guys, and the core mistake that led to all this pain in the game was really subtle. So I had this idea to bring the knight over to g3. Um, so black went knight back. And with this move, they were preparing the move f5, right? They're facilitating that move now. And I should have gone knight g3 immediately to stop it. So now if they try this, uh, we can just take. Um, but, you know, I was considering, like, oh, should I go knight g3 first or go queen uh, d2? And I thought, yeah, let's let's develop the queen. You know, let's get the queen in the game. And this one little subtle mistake was what made everything just shatter apart. Because now black goes f5. And, um, well, I already showed you what happened in the game. So, yeah, we can't let them push. So we have to take. And then they take. And they take. And everything is bad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it was just this one little mistake. I needed to go knight g3 first in this position. Um, to stop my opponent's ideas. They didn't love that one. Let's see, what else do they want? They wanted queen e2. Oh, that's interesting. So then maybe I, so, cause like black is gonna go uh, like queen g6. So if we, like if we go queen e2, um, we can maybe just trade off. Yeah, computer says queen g4. Um, that makes a lot of sense to me. Just try to, neutralize blocks attack because i do think their position uh is very strong here very strong attacking position um oh yeah here i was really just man i didn't know what to do computer says c4 not sure i understand the logic of that um oh maybe at some point you're gonna try to like i don't know Somehow, I, I feel like somehow like storming this pawn maybe will have an impact on neutralizing this bishop. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, they're saying like c4, rook f7, queen a5. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, what other moves do they have? Queen d1. Or queen e2. So yeah, they really wanted you to get on this diagonal. Uh, sorry, this diagonal, so you could go here to neutralize Black's attack. Makes sense. So I think that's my main learning so far. I would I would say like let's keep that in the reserve. That um, you know a subtle sidestep with the queen can maybe be a very useful defensive resource. They also do really didn't like this move. They still really like c4. I don't I don't really quite understand the uh, the idea with that, but. Queen f2 as well. Okay. Or b4. Yeah, just fixing the weakness over here, but eh, I don't know. All right. Let's 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 carry on. Wow, they hate this move. So they say and d4 is the best move. Oh, they played e4. Oh, d4. Oh, yeah, the bishop was trapped here. Wow. So, okay, we got kind of lucky on that. Um, yeah, knight takes was best here. Uh, let's see. Is there a problem with pawn takes? Just intuitively, this feels wrong to me because you're giving black a discovery on your queen. Um, <clears throat> so, or like, yeah, knight f... Yeah, computer says knight f6 is the top move, so... Which would uh, win, the, win the pawn on the next turn. So... Um, that is why I took with the knight. And yep, they played the best move. And... Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. So I just have this tactical blunder. So, I mean, you know, I think this is just a sharpness thing. I actually saw it pretty much right after I played it. Um, where, yeah, they can take here because they remove the defender and now they have this fork. And one more important topic I wanted to mention here for you guys is the concept of having weak dark squares or weak light squares around your king. Uh, in this case, I had a really weak G3 square that black had full control of, and it was pretty much the nail in the coffin for me in this position. Um, so you can imagine instead, so the sacrifice works because um, if, I, if I take black goes check and scoops up the queen, um, but imagine instead if I had a pawn on F2, uh, I mean, this wouldn't quite work as the bishop would be hanging, but you know, if I had pawns on h2 and f2 controlling the square, then black wouldn't have quite so much control and wouldn't have that fork available. So like here, after they bring the bishop over, um, they have so much control of this diagonal and these squares around my king, and uh, I have no control. And so you'll hear stronger players talk about uh, you know weakening the dark squares or weakening the light squares. And it took me a long time as a player to like get a, a sense of like what does that actually mean. Uh, but this is a case where you see it. So because I had pushed my pawn to h3, and because I had earlier in the game pushed a pawn to f3, uh, that pawn got taken. But um, because of that, I really weakened the g3 square, and black was able to exploit it. So that's a higher level concept for you, weakening of certain squares in the position. So, uh, whoop, sorry, that, that went a little fast there. And yeah, I mean, from here it's over, you know, I'm down a piece. They have all, <clears throat> black has all the initiative. Uh, yeah, so here I also, I should have moved my rook, like maybe rook e1. Uh, computer says rook f3, rook e1, uh, or b4. They really want to do stuff with pawns over here. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but uh, yeah, because the only way, there's no way to stop this. Uh, from coming in, I mean, I could also go like king here, but uh, then you actually no, you can't because then you get this way, so uh, then you lose the queen. So, a little dicey, um, and uh, yep, nice finish by them. So, let's do one more for tonight.